Newton's first law of motion. The statement of this law, every body continues in its state of rest or of uniform motion unless it is compelled by an external force to change its state of rest or of uniform motion. The first part of the law, it states that every body continues in its state of rest unless it is compelled by an external unbalanced force is easy to understand and hence of common experience. For example, if we'll keep a book on a table, the book stays there until someone removes it. Uh, we cannot say that there is no force acting on the book because the force of gravity is acting on the book. The book is exerting some force on the table. At the same time, the table is exerting some force on the book, equal force but opposite in direction. That's the reason the book stays at rest. So it is of common experience. So it's easy to understand the Newton's first law of motion. The second part of the law, it states that every body is in the state of motion unless it is compelled by an external unbalanced force. You know, this is very difficult to understand this concept because it is contrary to our day-to-day -day experience. For example, if a stone is rolled along a straight road, the stone will cover a short distance before it comes to rest. At the same time, if a smooth ball is rolled over a polished surface, it covers a greater distance when we are applying the same amount of force. The reason the smooth ball is covering the greater distance is the force of friction is less. So friction is nothing but an external force. This external force is having the ability to change the state of motion. In the case of a rough surface, the friction offered by the surface is more. That's the reason the stone is only covering a short distance. In the case of a polished surface, the friction offered by the surface is very, very less. That's the reason that smooth ball is covering a greater distance. If the surface is not offering any resistance at all, then the body continues in its state of motion.